John Baldwin was born in Sidcup, Kent, on the 3rd of January 1946. He started playing piano when he was six, learning from his father, Joe Baldwin, a pianist and arranger for big bands in the 1940s and 1950s, notably with Ambrose and his orchestra, and his mother was also in the music business, which allowed the family to often perform together touring around England as a vaudeville comedy act. His influences ranged from the blues of Big Bill Brunzi, the jazz of Charles Mingus, to the classical piano of Sergei Rachmaninoff. Because his parents often toured, Baldwin was sent to boarding school at a young age. He was a student at Christ's College Blackheath, London, where he studied music formally. At the age of 14, Baldwin became choir master and organist at a local church, and during that year, he also bought his first bass guitar, a Dallas Tuxedo Solid Body Electric, followed by multiple basses which he part exchanged until he finally bought his 1962 Fender Jazz Bass which he used until 1976. The fluid playing of Chicago musician Phil Upchurch on his You Can't Sit Down LP, which includes a memorable bass solo, is cited by Jones as being his inspiration to take up the instrument. Baldwin joined his first band The Deltas at the age of 15, he then played bass for jazz rock London group Jet Blacks, a collective that included guitarist John McLaughlin. His big break came in 1962 when he was hired by Jet Harris and Tony Meehan of the successful British group The Shadows for a two-year stint. Shortly before hiring Baldwin, Harris and Meehan had just had a number one hit with Diamonds. Baldwin's collaboration with The Shadows nearly prevented the future formation of Led Zeppelin. When the parties engaged in talks about the possibility of Baldwin replacing their bassist Brian Locking, who left the band in October 1963, but John Rostell was ultimately chosen to fill the position. It was during his time as a session player that Baldwin adopted the stage name John Paul Jones. This name was suggested to him by a friend Andrew Lou Goldham, who had seen a poster for the 1959 film John Paul Jones in France. He released his first solo recording as John Paul Jones entitled Baja. A Foggy Day in Vietnam as a single on Pi Records in April 1964, during his time as a session player Jones often crossed paths with guitarist Jimmy Page a fellow session veteran. In June 1966 Page joined the Yardbirds, and in 1967 Jones contributed to that band's Little Games album. The following winter during the sessions for Donovan's The Hurdy Gurdy Man, Jones expressed to Page a desire to be part of any projects the guitarist might be planning. Later that year, the Yardbirds disbanded leaving Page and bassist Chris Dredge to complete previously booked Yardbirds dates in Scandinavia before a new band could be assembled. Dredge left to take up photography. Jones, at the suggestion of his wife, asked Page about the vacant position, and the guitarist eagerly invited Jones to collaborate. Vocalist Robert Plant and drummer John Bonham joined the two to form a quartet, initially dubbed the New Yardbirds for the Scandinavian dates. The band soon became known as Led Zeppelin. Jones was responsible for the classic bass lines of the group, notably those in Ramble On and the Lemon Song, and shifting time signatures such as those in Black Dog. As half of Led Zeppelin's rhythm section with drummer John Bonham, Jones shared an appreciation for funk and soul rhythmic grooves which strengthened and enhanced their musical affinity. Jones' diverse contributions to the group extended to the use of other instruments including an unusual triple-necked acoustic instrument consisting of a 6- and a 12-string guitar and a mandolin. Jones often used bass pedals to supplement the band's sound while he was playing keyboards and mandolin. On the band's 1977 tour of the United States, Jones would sing lead vocals on The Battle of Evermore, filling in for Sandy Denny who had sung on the studio version. Led Zeppelin dissolved in 1980, with the death of John Bonham. At the time that John died, John saying I had just moved to Devon to bring up my family, so after the split I was completely out of everything, and I must say I didn't miss it. He appeared on sessions and videos for Paul McCartney, and was involved in the soundtrack of the film Give My Regards to Broad Street. In 1985 Jones was asked by director Michael Winner to provide the soundtrack for the film Scream for Help, with Jimmy Page appearing on two tracks, Jones provides vocals for two of the songs. He recorded and toured with singer Diamanda Galas on her 1994 album The Sporting Life. In 1985 Jones joined Page and Plant for the Live Aid concert with Phil Collins and Tony Thompson on drums. In 1995 the band Heart released a live acoustic album called The Road Home. It was produced by Jones and featured him playing several instruments. 
Also in 1995, Andrew Lawrence King's Harp Consort released a set of three Spanish-language songs in 17th-century style of Jones's own composition, accompanied by Baroque instruments including harps, chitterone, guitars, lerwon, viola da gamba, and percussion.